Esther Marley Conwell May 23, 1922, to November 16, 2014, was a pioneering American chemist and physicist who studied properties of semiconductors and organic conductors, especially electron transport. She is best known for the conwell weisskopf theory which elucidates how electrons travel through semiconductors, an accomplishment that helped revolutionize modern computing. Topic. Education Conwell obtained a physics BA from Brooklyn College in 1942. She then went to the University of Rochester to complete a MS in physics in 1945 with Victor Weisskopf. She initially planned to do a PhD at Rochester, but since her advisor left to work at Los Alamos after her first year there, she was only able to complete a master's. Conwell collaborated with Karl Lark Horowitz and Vivian Johnson at Purdue University on silicon and germanium semiconductor physics. Her master's was initially classified then finally declassified in 1945 and subsequently her MS was awarded in which she determined the conwell weisskopf theory. Conwell received her physics Ph.D. in 1948, from the University of Chicago under the advisement of Nobel laureate Subramanian Chandrasekhar at Yerkes Observatory and was also an assistant to Enrico Fermi. She was a teaching assistant at Chicago and graded the work of Nobel laureates such as Chen Ning Yang and Owen Chamberlain. Topic. Career After her first year of graduate school, she was employed by Western Electric as an assistant engineer. At the time, payroll did not have a job title code for female assistant engineers so her title was changed to engineer's assistant and her pay reduced to fit an existing code. She was an instructor in physics at Brooklyn College 1946 to 1951. She then worked as a researcher at Bell Laboratories 1951-1952 where she studied with William Shockley on the effects of high electric fields on electron transport in semiconductors. She then became a staff member at Sylvania which was then taken over by GTE Laboratories 1952-1972. In 1972 she joined the Xerox Wilson Research Center, where she was a research fellow from 1981 to 1998. At Xerox, she investigated transport and optical properties of doped polymers such as those used for photoreceptors in copiers. Conwell was the associate director of the NSF Center for Photoinduced Charge Transfer at University of Rochester starting in 1991. She spent a year as a visiting professor at École Normale Supérieure in 1962 and a semester as the Abbey Rockefeller Mazé professor at MIT in 1972. In 1990, Conwell became an adjunct professor at the University of Rochester while still working at Xerox. In 1998, Conwell joined the University of Rochester faculty full-time as a professor of chemistry where she focused on the flow of electrons through DNA. Conwell has earned four patents, published more than 270 papers, and multiple textbooks over her career. Her textbook High Field Transport in Semiconductors became the authoritative text in the field. Topic. Honors and awards Conwell was made a Fellow of the IEEE in 1980 for contributions to semiconductor theory, particularly transport in both low and high electric fields. She was also a Fellow of the American Physical Society. She is one of the few who have the triple membership in the National Academy of Engineering, National Academy of Sciences, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 1992, and is the only member of the University of Rochester to achieve this. She had received the Achievement Award of the Society of Women Engineers 1960, and an honorary DSC, from Brooklyn College in 1992. In 1997 she received the IEEE Edison Medal for Fundamental Contributions to Transport Theory in Semiconductor and Organic Conductors, and Their Application to the Semiconductor, Electronic Copying and Printing Industries." She was the first woman to win this award. Other notable awardees include Alexander Graham Bell, Vannevar Bush, and Michael Puppin. In November 2002, Discover magazine listed Conwell as one of the 50 most important women scientists at the time. In 2004, she was the receipt of a Dreyfus Senior Faculty Mentor Award for serving as a research mentor to undergraduates. 
In 2006, University of Rochester honored Conwell with a Susan B. Anthony Lifetime Achievement Award for her efforts in advocating and promoting women in science. The Axe Award for encouraging women into careers in the chemical sciences was awarded to her in 2008. In 2010, Conwell received the prestigious National Medal of Science from President Barack Obama for her broad contributions to understanding electron and hole transport in semiconducting materials, which helped to enable commercial applications of semiconductor and organic electronic devices, and for extending her analysis to studying the electronic properties of DNA." She was nominated by Mildred Dresselhaus, a professor of physics and electrical engineering at MIT and a National Medals of Science winner. Personal life Esther Conwell was born in 1922 in New York City. She had two sisters and both of her parents were immigrants. Her son, Louis Rothberg, is also a tenured professor of physics, physical chemistry, and chemical engineering at the University of Rochester. His research focuses on organic electronics and biomolecular sensing using laser energetics. On November 16, 2014, Conwell was walking when she was struck by her neighbor's car as he was backing out of his driveway. Capt. David Catholdy of the Brighton Police Department stated that alcohol and speed were not factors in the incident. She was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital, where she died from her injuries several hours later. She was 92 years old and was still actively pursuing research. References External links Oral History Interview Transcript with Esther M. Conwell the 22nd of January 2007, American Institute of Physics, Niels Bohr Library and Archives Biography of Conwell from IEEE